to photograph is to hold one's breath when all faculties converge to capture a fleeting reality. A statement made by master photographer, legend and an icon of his time, Henri Cartier-Bresson. In 2007, Martin Osner experienced such a moment when shooting near a rural village close to the Zimbabwean border. In this photograph, entitled African Mood, Osner illustrates just how powerful human shape is in a composition. I have found that human form is an incredibly strong shape when used within the context of visual art. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is used. If it's included in the composition, it is going to attract the viewer's attention. Since 2007, Osner has added a number of prints to his African mood portfolio, all of which display an elementary shape of some sort. The latest print was captured nearby to where he was staying while on a recent expedition to the Northern Cape of South Africa. I've often heard it said that in order to get great photographs, one has to be prepared to travel to far and exotic locations. But this is absolute nonsense. I mean, some of my most successful work has been captured close to my home or close to where I was staying at the time. Very often, an acre of diamonds can be found in our own back garden. It has much more to do with what one sees than where one travels. It was one of those beautiful mornings for photography. There was a, a light cloud cover and light was filtering in through little gaps between the clouds and I decided to grab my camera and just go for a walk. Not far from the house itself, there was this avenue of trees and on their own, they made a really interesting composition, but, but something was missing. And from behind, I heard footsteps approaching. I looked over my shoulder and a farm worker came walking past. He, he greeted me and then continued to walk into my composition. And the smaller and smaller he got in the frame, the more the composition improved. Undeniably, the inclusion of human shape has elevated the composition dramatically by not only creating a decisive resting point, but also bringing with it an element of scale. Besides just human shape, I quite like to work with animal shape, which could be equally as powerful, or very strong recognizable shapes. So something like a boat or a structure or trees, uh, as long as they are instantly recognizable, the viewer's eye will be attracted to them. The one thing I do do though, is when working with these strong shapes, is I try to keep my compositions as simple as possible. Bresson went on to say about photography that it is putting one's head, one's eye and one's heart on the same axis. For me, he confessed, it is an instant drawing and the secret is to forget one is carrying a camera.